Right, and we are getting ready to get the cabinets installed here. Here we are with the... We're going to start with the one next to the stove here because this is the one that we want the most. So yeah, we're going to go with this one. And just getting a look at everything here. Um, I am going to do something about that. About a, It's about an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch gap that I need to fill to raise this whole thing up to the level of the stove where I am happy with that. And then we'll make sure that this is all level. i uh, got to trim out uh, some of this back here. Also that baseboard down there. And for that, we have a new toy. Oh yeah, and the uh, got to trim out this bit here for the upper cabinet to fit flush against the wall. And just look at that beautiful wallpaper. And so yeah, new toy. What we've got... I picked up one of them uh, vibratory saws the other day, and we are going to have some fun with this thing. Yeah, look at it, it's all pretty and velcroed in. Okay, I'm going to mess with this and we'll be back. Okay, so new toy. Uh, now that it's out of the box there, see it's got, what I think is cool, it's got this thing, it pops out like that, and that's how you move and adjust your your blade on it and I need it I, I need a real tripod or something but then that you can flip it around it comes off came with the with a uh, sanding attachment for it too which I think is pretty sweet and then you just pop that pop that lever back locks it in place slide it down and you are golden and it's got a variable speed trigger on it uh, apparently there's other heads for it you can get so you can pop this off and it works great I went with the corded version because I have no problem with cords uh, picked up some extra blades just in case and yeah so we'll see how this does uh, first thing we're going to do though is we are going to get that baseboard trimmed out and get this all cut so here we go still on that first bit that I bought for, for uh, the, that pack of DeWalt bits after I busted all those building that picnic table. DeWalt, you have my endorsement for your tip for your bits. At least this one. Just this one bit. Just None of your other bits. This individual singular bit. It has outlasted it. most others that I've had in the last six months. I endorse this one bit. Bit for Congress. <laughs> Bit for Congress. Oh, oh. Did you say bring the boys a toe? I know, I know the song. Yay, cabinet. Six more to go. Shit. Okay, and so I've been marking this uh, countertop out right here because we're going to have to cut this out. That's going to have to come off uh, for about 11 and 3 8 inches to go back into that. So we are good to go on this here. Um, once everything's raised up, it should clear that. And that shouldn't be an issue. And so, yeah. Um, any bets that once I cut this, I can't return it? Wow. God, this tool is nice. Why did I never have one of these? Ah! 
your camera supposed to be recording? That one? It was. It is. enough for government work. One done. Okay and now we have that first set of first cabinets in and countertop and we got that nice. I'm really happy with that. Just a good gap just like that all the way down. Let the dog downstairs. There you go Bubba's. Now we got the countertop in. Got that cut out. A little wider down here in this corner than I wanted, but I guess that's just what I'm going to have to deal with because this none of these walls are square in this house. But so yeah, we are in. It is secured. That one is in. Dad. And it is good to go just like that. And then we got our drawer in here, which you probably just saw me getting that all straightened out. But that is in. Cabinet is in, and oh yeah, and gonna pull that drawer in. But we got the cabinet and the countertop together as one. And that is against the wall. It ain't going anywhere. We are set. Okay, so I already jumped ahead a little bit on things here and started getting this one cleared off and getting that pulled out so that we can start getting the next cabinet and counter put into place here. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so we got that cut out there, and that is not the prettiest, but not bad. I was able to keep it pretty pretty flush with that zip zip saw. I really like it. Yeah. And then I'm probably gonna have to trim this out up to about here to clear for the countertop, uh, but I'm just gonna make sure on that before I actually cut it, because I wanna make it as close as I can. Okay, 
Okay, we got that countertop in. Looks pretty good. I'm really happy with, with that right there. That came out looking really good. Just a little bit of a seam right there and over here. Uh, that is probably going to end up getting hidden with caulk. It's probably all I'm going to do because uh, the uh, over the fridge cabinet that's going to go in here is actually going to come out to about like right here. So it shouldn't be too bad. Actually, let's see. Come it out. I can get the tape measure to block it. That'll come out to just about over here. So yeah, that'll work. I'm surprised they just didn't have one that fit exactly with the fridge. You'd figure they would. Thought I heard something fall. I did, there's some Captain Crunch. We'll get that in a minute. Okay, and all of the cabinets are in, which makes me happy. The only thing that's left to do is this bit of counter here, but I can't because this was a lovely mistake. They uh, finished the wrong side, so I'm still waiting for them to get me a new replacement for that. But we have all the base cabinets in, and they are secured to the other cabinets so we got it secured to the face of the pantry so everything down in here is nice and flush this is even anchored to the pantry cabinet as well uh, that's all coming through from the other side so it's hidden over here and then we've got that anchored in as well everything's good and solid I'm very happy with how all that is looking and then as well just go back over we got the that one is good to go on there the, over the there the wall bridge as they call it that is in place got our three drawers down there as long as the and with the uh, countertop here which is anchored down I did already pick up the bracket that I'm gonna put underneath about middle there so that that's got full support and then we've got dinner sitting on the newly installed counter over here with the cabinet and the drawers and then, oh, yes, and uh, my wife has already put in the potato masher into the drawer there. I told her she couldn't put anything in until I was completely finished, but she had to do that. And then we also have the upper cabinet here, which is all good to go for us as well. So, all right.